so today we are going to start with our new topic heat and its effects so what is heat heat is a form of energy as you all know heat is actually the energy possessed by the molecules of that substance the energy possessed by the molecules of the substance is also called as thermal energy so today we'll be discussing about thermal energy the different effects that the heat causes and how the heat causes expansion in substances we'll be also looking around certain applications where these thermal expansion property has been put to use heat is defined as spontaneous flow of energy from one object to another now if you are touching a cup of hot tea what do you feel it is hot why because the temperature of the tea is more than your body that is why heat starts traveling from that cup of tea to your body so heat always travels from the body at a higher temperature towards a body at a lower temperature till both of them come in equilibrium that means if i leave that cup of tea for some time it will gain that room temperature because it is dissipating the heat outside but in case when you are touching a bowl filled with ice cubes you will feel cold why because your body temperature is higher as compared to the ice cubes now the heat has started traveling from your body to ice cubes that is why if you keep holding some ice cubes in your hand for some time it will melt and turn into water so heat energy is the energy of movement of molecules more we heat the substance the faster its molecules start to move now coming to what effect does heat causes heat can cause many effects in a substance if i am boiling water then it will lead to increase in the temperature of that water secondly it can also lead to the change in the state of the water once the water starts boiling and converting into steam that means from the liquid state water has started turning into vapor so now there is change of state in some cases it can also cause a change in the shape of the body like if i start melting ice ice is solid if i am supplying heat to ice cubes it will convert it into liquid length volume and area of a substance will increase when heat is supplied to it and this is what we call thermal expansion so simply concluding if i takes a simple example of ice in a solid form solid will be converted to liquid on melting when we are providing it heat and this water could be converted into a form of water vapor by yes by providing heat that is it is getting evaporated but if i want to reverse it again it could be condensed back to get the liquid form of water and water could be again frozen back to get solid ice so this is the effect of heat now some common examples that occur around us due to heat you must have observed when a jam bottle is get, has getting locked up and it is not opening then your mother advise you to put some hot water on it why because the metal cap of the jam bottle it will gain the heat the molecules will gain the energy so that metal cap is going to expand and it will get loosened second example is like in summers when the electrical cables are laid between the poles they are left a little loose why because when winters are coming during the winters this cables they are going to again contract so they are going to pull their molecules together they are going to shrink otherwise if they don't leave a little loose during the summers it will lead to breakage of the cables next example is of railway tracks when the railway tracks are laid down a small amount of gap is left between them again same reason because during the summers when there will be heat due to sun the iron metal which is used for forming the railway tracks it is going to 
expand it is going to gain heat energy so the molecules will expand so to provide the space for expansion small gaps are always left in the railway tracks now i'm showing you a slide of a steel bridge these steel bridges whenever they are constructed at one end they are fixed to the concrete structure but to the other end there are kept rollers why because during the summers when there will be heat due to sun this steel bridge is going to expand because the metal molecules again when they will gain the energy they will start vibrating at their place at a higher speed this vibration causes expansion in the steel bridge so these rollers they provide an additional space for the bridge to expand during the summers and during the winters they can again come back to the same position so that is why steel bridges they are provided with rollers but only at one end not at both the ends so this is an application of thermal expansion now i am taking another application of thermal expansion which has been put to a very good use that is automatic fire alarm you must have seen these days in buildings malls whenever there is a sudden fire by accident so automatically the fire alarms it starts ringing but you have you ever thought how is it working now this slide shows you the structure of the fire alarm in this there is a biometallic strip shown in yellow and black color which is yellow represents the brass and black is iron now here it is connected to a battery at the down which is further connected to a electric bell and at the top there is a hook now the first figure shows you the normal stage and the second figure shows you when the building has caught fire so when there is fire that means there is increase in temperature brass melts faster as compared to iron so that is here is comes the function of biometallic strip this yellow and black colored strip when brass will start melting it will create a push or you can say a bend towards the iron side and this metal strip is going to bend and join with the hook this is going to complete the circuit now once the circuit is completed the power is supplied by the battery to ring the bell this is how the automatic fire alarm works in a building now today to conclude we have discussed today what is heat what is thermal energy and how the molecules they gain the energy once we are supplying heat to it which causes thermal expansion then we looked for some common examples and applications of thermal expansion this much for today thank you see you in the next